Hi, I'm Bart Hansen. I'm the owner and operator of CrushLivePoker.com. The following hand comes from our call-in show that we record at 4.45 p.m. Pacific time every Monday. If you want to call in your hand, check out the phone number in the description. Um, so this hand it was played on PPP, like I said in the email, um, the app. So it's no real live reads at all, but just um, I do have uh, the highest uh, thing you can buy. So it gives me everyone's stats. So the villain was uh, definitely on the looser side, playing about 38%. V pip with like twenty eight percent pre uh, pre flop raise. So this is six um, max, is that right? That is right. This and is and what's the level you're playing at? What are the blinds? Uh, two four two with a hundred big blind caps. So two four. four. Caps. So how effective are you, how how deep are you guys? Uh, nine hundred and sixty, but so two hundred and fifteen big blinds. Okay, so it's nine sixty effective, six max online. Villain is loose, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. So just a little bit to preface it as well. Um, Hero definitely has um, looser stats because plays a decent amount of heads up, and it combines all the stats. So it combines heads up and six max. So and they can I look, look at the stats. Wider. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so under the gun open to ten, which was about standard two and a half x. Yep. And then big blind next to act and hijack uh, three bets to thirty two with queen of spades, king of diamonds. Queen of spades, king of diamonds. So wait a minute. Under the gun, open to 10, and then it's just to you and the hijack, basically? Yeah. So, uh, isn't the hijack the UTG open 6 max, if I'm trying to think of this? Isn't hijack, no, cutoff, um, button, small blind, big blind? Oh, I guess not. I guess it's I guess hijack yeah, is next, next to one. act. All yeah. right, so you 3-bet th you to 32. And how do you feel about the 3-bet pre-flop? Well, like I a, mean... A, either a 3-bet or fold. PP poker, I mean, I know it's one of these things that's sort of like this community-based poker. I don't want to get into too much with that. And I know that there's a fair amount of fish. I mean, I would say that if you 3-bet king-queen on poker stars in a 6-max 2-4 no-limit game, you're going to get eaten alive. But obviously, the level play, I mean, 2-4 of those guys play like 200-400 live. You know, the difference between online yeah. and no-limit. So, yeah. I, I mean, I can see it. It's a little bit on the looser side for online poker, but, you know, you're going to gain yourself position. It's better than a flat call, I'm sure. So you make it 32 and then heads up with villain. Okay, so folds and UTG calls. Okay. So the flop is uh, queen, queen, six with two diamonds. So you flop trip diamonds. And then, I mean trip, yeah, trip diamonds. Either. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then I have the king of diamonds as well. Okay. So yeah. that, that does play into effect later. Mm -hmm. So hero bets 22 into 70. I normally bet third with my entire range on paired flops. So check, you bet 28. One. 22. 22 into about 70. Okay, so sort of a down bet. Okay. And then villain calls. Okay. Turn is a three of spades, complete brick. Okay. And then hero sizes up, that's 96 into 112, so about 80% pot. So if you want checks, hero 96 into 112. So sort of using that variable sizing here. Obviously, on the turn, down betting, theoretically, trying to keep your opponent wide. He's probably needs to call with almost any ace high to, I mean, probably ace 10 suited plus. And then I would say from a optimal standpoint, the stuff that we do on top section, I, you know, this is stuff that I was never in into. And sometimes it applies, sometimes it doesn't. But probably like ace X with a backdoor Obviously, any flush draw. So whatever that card is on Queen Queen Six, Ace X with a backdoor, he has to call twenty two into seventy. Ace Ten suited plus, even without a backdoor, and then probably like maybe even the Broadway backdoor type hands like King Ten and King Jack with a backdoor. I think are need to be exactly. Called. Um, yeah. So Dylan should be defending pretty wide uh, yeah. with the flop size. Right. So ninety six into one twelve. Okay. Yep. And then Dylan calls. So V one calls again. So this looks like it's a pretty good spot for you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm loving it. Yeah. <laughs> so the pot's going to be right just on just over 300, right? Something like that. That is correct. Okay. 310. So, so okay, so we'll go to the river. And then river is a 10 brick uh missing the diamonds. And so hero sizes up again. Uh bets 264 into 310. So, so about check 75 eight. 264 into 310, okay. And then villain raises to seven eighty eight, basically jamming, leaving himself with like twenty, thirty dollars behind. 
So what are you getting here for pot odds? So 264 and a 310 is what, 574, and then another, what, it's like 12. I'm, I'm just to, so it's like 574, 12, 12, 60, 500 to call, something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, something like 2.6-ish. I mean, listen, I don't know how these, I don't know how, I mean, I could make a case if I was playing 5-5 five, five at the bike, okay, live poker 5-5, five, five, if this hand went down this way, you know, you know, just transpose it and figure like it was like a cutoff and I three bet button with king queen or high, you know, hijack versus cutoff. And I three bet the cutoff with king queen and the hand went down like this and I got check raised on the river. I could easily make the case to fold the river. In online poker, <laughs> you're definitely not supposed to fold the river. I mean, how can you fold? You, you have one of the absolute best hands that you can possibly have. What you're saying with the diamond comes into play is that it's actually bad for you that you have a diamond in your hand because it means that this guy has less missed diamond draws that he might be turning into a bluff. Is I assume I assume that that's where you're going. Yeah. So like having having the diamond made me made it like a great spot to bet big. Yeah. Um, but then just when raised, it's a pretty gross spot. And then I just feel like just like live, uh, people just under bluff raise rivers. Like I feel like if he had. A queen, I would have uh, gotten check raised. Well, you certainly have. Point. Well, I mean, listen, you certainly have a bluff catcher, but it, it, it's going to have to be a, a rather extreme situation for you to make this fold. I don't know necessarily how these games play out. Um, when you're playing in tough online games, though, people are supposed to be doing things with the right types of frequencies, which would mean that this would have to be a call. You're supposed to probably call with all your queens. Um, Again, it's probably going to be player dependent whether or not, you know, if you told me this was a 5 5 live game and you thought the guy wasn't doing anything crazy, I could see folding. It's going to be a lot of sixes full, going to be like a lot of pocket tens, maybe even appealed pocket threes. I agree with you. Probably a queen is going to raise off, so I wouldn't expect him to be overplaying a queen. And, um, I mean, the other thing is that occasionally, like, if he thinks that a queen is the absolute nuts. You know, maybe it's ace queen, but I agree with you that this is usually going to be full quite a bit. So, you know, from a theoretical perspective, yeah, it's a call for sure. If you're doing all that optimal stuff and you're trying to, if if you are trying to play at equilibrium, this is certainly a call. Can I see a fold? Sure, I can see a fold, but at equilibrium, any queen here is going to be a call for sure. Okay, that makes. You sense. know, I just even wh whether you have a diamond or not. So, what ended up happening? Um, yeah, I ended up calling it. He had pocket tens. Yeah. Okay. But and... yeah, I just put it in my uh, like my group chat. I have like about ten really solid players. A lot, like a couple of them play for a living, and most of them said with the diamond, the river is leaning towards fold some calls. But I mean, like in what sense? What are they basing that on, though? Just the fact that like villains under bluff. Um, okay, well, no, so you're saying that it's just an exploit on PP poker. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, if you put the ranges, like, if you're trying to play in a, at equilibrium and you put this into a solver, like Pio solver, I, yeah, I can almost no, guarantee no, you sure. that a queen is always going to be a yeah, call. Yeah, no, here. no, no. It, it's you know? Pio, it's definitely a call. <laughs> so, again, I mean, it's like if this game plays like a live game, then I could certainly see folding to some players. If you're trying to play yeah, at equilibrium, it you know, it's going to, you know, yeah, it's going to be a call. Yes, the diamond probably you know is a very very small consideration here um okay. i just don't pe see people check raise the river all that much though anyways right so i don't know how relevant yeah. it is but i appreciate the call thank you hey guys if you like what you've seen here please click on the subscribe button and you'll get notified every time we put up a new video and if you want to check out crushlivepoker.com for the first month free use the code yta200 click on the link right there